Hello, this is ZDs. Welcome back to another Mario Maker 2 video. Uh, the third volume of Friends with ZDs. We are starting off with a Senior Mike 17 level. Uh, Mike makes a lot of really good platforming levels. He's very good at blue platform levels, and this is uh, his latest blue platform level. Uh, this is a uh, pretty simple uh, concept uh, a room challenge, uh, blue platform room challenge. Uh, yeah, I've, I've known Mike for uh, since, I don't know, probably, probably pretty early on in the Mario Maker 2 days. Uh, <laughs> this room right here, when I come in here, I cannot find myself. Uh, I am hidden behind the... Uh, the, the high score and stuff on the upper left hand corner and I and I tell Mike that I'm, I'm like I don't even know where I was so now that I know where I am I, I knew when the burners went off and killed me I figured it out uh, but I, I, I seriously I was like looking everywhere I couldn't see it hit the first checkpoint yeah very very um very classic, uh, munchers, uh, piranha plants, and blue platforms. I like blue platform levels, I've made a few myself. I of course die much more than uh, I'm showing here. The, the rough video was probably about 15 minutes, I, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe something like that, a little, a little less than that, maybe. I died a lot. Some, some precise-ish jumps. And it always takes me a second to get oriented in, in a room. But I got a checkpoint, so I don't care. This, this room, uh, also has a flaw. In that I enter the door to the previous section. Um, not a big deal though, because I can I can die and red coins are only in one room, so it doesn't screw me over too too hard. section of, of fire bar race pretty good but I uh, that muncher was the tall muncher got me at kind of hard to see sometimes in these dark levels and of course I'm gonna die on the last section at least once Yeah, I pretty much always die at least once to trying to figure out what, what I'm supposed to do. Okay, that's it. Very good level. On to the second level, Muncher Garden by Jewmaster87. Uh, Jew Master is a, uh, is an actual Jewish person, so, uh, don't be offended by his name. He, he is a Jewish person who is a master at Mario Maker 2. Uh, <clears throat> he's a, he's a relatively new member of the Mario Maker 2 community on Facebook. Uh, he's probably been around for about a year now, uh, maybe. Uh, but he, he started much later than some of us. I, mean, I don't know if he started the game later, but he, he started the Facebook group later. Uh, those mushrooms at the beginning are, are just decoration. I, I, for, for some reason, thought I should get one. Uh, uh, yeah, this this maker he he tends to like his decorations. Uh, I always I always tell him that he overdoes it. <laughs> Uh, and I think that's true. I, I personally am not big about aesthetics. I don't really care. Um, 
and I, and I more often feel like uh, people overdo it. I'd rather I'd rather see it not at all than overdone. Overdone. Um, yeah. Uh, Dream Master has a pretty uh, recognizable style if you ever play it. As well as he likes, he likes to go up and down. Uh, Swamps, uh, um, skewers, uh, the NSMVU, uh, shell jumps are always, uh, I always have to get used to those. They're the same as the other little styles, but for some reason they always feel harder to me. As you might imagine, with a 0.5% clear rate, uh, I'm cutting out, you know, dozens and dozens of deaths here. Uh, you don't need to see me die on that first show jump a hundred times. <laughs> I think there's a, there's only like two uh, shell jumps and there's a couple of surfs too. But here's a surf right here. So yeah, it's not a, not a shell jump heavy level. Oh, here's a couple more. Or one more and one more surf. And then Dream Master, he likes, he also likes his bonus rooms. Um, again, that's not something that's, that's absolutely, it's pretty unnecessary because you would get plenty of one-ups uh, already if you were playing it in Endless. So, no way you wouldn't have three by the time you got to here. And there's, and he has three floating in the air right at, at this room. But, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice little touch. I like it. Okay, moving on to the third level, we have one from Bogu 2. Uh, Bogu 2 is actually, this this level is a um, collaboration between two different friends of mine. Bogu, uh, who is very good at music levels, and Geo Pyro, who is just a, a great uh, platforming uh, maker. He, he, he's also just... Both of them are just exceptional at uh, at aesthetics. Uh, so this is just a, a really pretty level with some good music. Uh, at least the start is from the band MGMT. Um, so I'm just gonna let you watch, listen, and watch me utterly fail at being able to time my jumps.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, I, I did want to say that I'm not, uh, I'm not sure if the second section is actually, uh, uh, music by MGMT or not. Uh, by now you've heard it, it's just kind of a, a repeat. Very good, though, I mean, very, very well done. Uh, I actually leave a comment. I, I did once see this band, uh, MGMT, uh, live. Uh, I, after their second album came out, and they're they're pretty good. Uh, it was uh, at a festival show, and it was getting pretty late, so we did end up. Uh, my friends and I did end up leaving a little early, but we we saw most of their set. It was very good. Yeah, this level this level is excellent. Um, it's not very hard. Obviously, it's not meant to be hard. Um, Generally, when I play levels that aren't hard, I like to speedrun them. This one is maybe a little too elaborate for me to want to speedrun. I think I think the record is like 230. Uh, and to get all these jumps perfect, you know, <laughs> look at how, how well I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah, that, that would be a, a difficult uh, endeavor that I would not succeed in, or that it would take me way too long to succeed in. I'm not sure how well the person who actually has the record, or had the record, at this point, I played this maybe two weeks ago. Um, yeah. It's also a level that was uploaded quite, quite a while ago. I just hadn't gotten around to playing it yet. Yeah, there you go. Um, very good level, guys. Geo Pyro and Bogu. Bogu2 being his uh, alternate account. Or I do believe he is making a super world or has made one. I'm not 100% sure. But thanks, guys. On to level four. Jurassic Yoshi's Tomb hashtag Team Jamp by Pastjev88. Uh, I will refer to Pastjev by his actual first name, Pascal, because Pastjev is a, is a hard word to pronounce. Um, yeah, pa Pascal is a, another maker I've known forever. Uh, he has actually taken like a, a, a six month uh, break from Mario Maker because he had his first child. So congratulations to him for that. Uh, but he has returned with a vengeance. <laughs> um, that said, I played his his uh, one of his 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 return level. I played it, but I uh, I just unfortunately I didn't record it, so I had to go back, and I had to go back quite a ways to find a level I hadn't played. Uh, and and I actually chose one uh, that was dedicated to my friend Septi, uh, whom we'll see next actually, and who you've seen before. Uh, and it was a, um, <clears throat> it was a, a chambers, uh, level where each, each chamber added new elements and, uh, more or less it was a shell jump level, but there were other type of, uh, types of obstacles. Um, and uh, it had a 0.22% clear rate, and I thought, hey, this would make good content. I failed. I, I, I'm sure I could beat it if I put time into it, but it was hard. Uh, so I went to uh, uh, it, one of his Team Jamp levels. Team Jamp, I will say, uh, aren't my favorite types of levels. I, I prefer, like, platformers or uh, speedruns or uh, shell levels. I mean, I, I'm not great at shell levels, but a really good shell level that I can actually complete is is a lot of fun for me. I feel like Team Jamp, like, I think I could, I could complete 90% of them without too much effort. Um, they're hard, I mean, I'll die a lot, but I know I can complete them. Anyway, but, you know, I, they're still good levels. I, I really like them. Uh, they're just not my favorite type of things, and a lot of my friends do make them. Uh, Pascal here, Septi makes tons of them. Uh, Tuda makes tons of them. 
Uh, I Jurassic Yoshi. This is dedicated. Uh, this level is dedicated to Jurassic Yoshi. He's another very good uh, uh, creator. I should look up some some of his levels. I haven't seen him around as much lately. Uh, this this level is actually Feb from February of uh, 2021. So about a year before he uh, before Pascal quit making them. Uh, we're already at the second checkpoint. I haven't even said anything about this level. Uh, <laughs> This is, um, it's a very well decorated level, but I will say, it is shiny as heck. Those, uh, the, the brick blocks in, in the Super Mario Bros. 3 desert theme, uh, are shiny. The coins are shiny. He has the ice coins. Um, and then the spikes are all shiny, and it, it was hurting my eyes quite a bit, but I did get through it pretty well. So thank you, Pascal, and congratulations once again on the birth of your child. Okay, on to the fifth level, Septi's Hidden Chambers, Deafman, hashtag Team Shell. I, uh, Deafman, uh, Septi is making a series that are dedicated to various players. In fact, I have one as well that's also a Team Shell level. Um, he wanted to make me a speed run. But he couldn't. <laughs> he has not the talent. But he does have the talent to make really good shell levels and uh, and jamp levels. I am going to cut to the chase a lot on this one. You'll see at the end how long it actually took me. Uh, this one really kicked my butt, I will say. Um, but I'm going to show you just the first few deaths, and then I'm then I'm pretty much going to cut to the. <laughs> And I like getting stuck on this. I just thought that was funny. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'll show you the first few deaths on this one. Uh, on this first part. The first part actually isn't that bad. I did die a lot, but it probably took me 20 minutes, maybe. Maybe not even that long. The whole video before I cut it up was around uh, an hour and 25 minutes. Not even, not even joking. Uh, <laughs> But it was mostly, the second part was over an hour, I know. So, 20 minutes, yeah, probably. So there's the first section. Ends on a double. I'm good at doubles. Uh, I'll tell you, like, almost 100% of my deaths. Well, I shouldn't say 100%. Let's say 90% of my deaths are on this section coming up. I'll show it right here. There is this, uh... This, this part's fine. It's this part right here, this juggle. I could not stop the shells from colliding. I couldn't line them up right. Um, yeah, I, I died hundreds of times there. But I'm just gonna cut to the solution to it because uh, you don't want to watch me die over and over to the same damn jump. <laughs> Uh, I got past, I start like, only very at the very end after an hour of playing this part did I get consistent at getting that, and then I just had to get the rest of the level. Yeah, very, very difficult level, um, but I would say, like, mostly for that one juggle, I just could not get that down. But I did, in the end, and you'll see here, uh, my time, and then you can compare the world record, Paco time, I'm sure Paco took maybe two tries to do this uh <laughs> yeah he's he's a legend um but yeah uh thanks so much for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed uh likes comment subscribe goodbye